generally good news, with more electric vehicles comes more proof of safety. Yes, it turns out that safe vehicles are not exclusive to Tesla. They seem to be part and parcel of an EV platform. All Tesla news for the second week of May, part two. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Drive Canada is reporting Tesla Model S Plaid sets a new record for fastest quarter mile time of any production car. Yes, uh, look at that. 9.23 seconds with a trap speed of 152 miles an hour. Handily beating the 9.4 held by the Bugatti, which costs, you know, more than $3 million more. Uh, this is great. The only difference I can see between the Tesla and the Bugatti, apart from the fact that one will allow you to bring friends and groceries with you, is that uh, you can't actually buy the Plaid. I'd like to buy a Plaid. I'd like to be able to afford to buy a Plaid. But I would like anyone to be able to buy a Plaid. And that just isn't the case yet. So I'd say we'll reevaluate it when deliveries begin. Tesla begins production line for Model Y and builds new tent near General Assembly 4. General Assembly 4 being, of course, the previous sprung structure. Tent is just a handy shorthand term for condescending type of structure. Yeah, it's fine. Um, they're expanding in Fremont in ways they probably couldn't if they did it with uh, traditional construction and certainly couldn't do it nearly as quickly. One of my users who watches the weekly tracker video said I should track it, but if we look from the time the article started until the time the article finished, it's almost finished already. Not much to track. Sprung structures go up quick. So let's stop talking about that and just say Configurator now live in Hungary and Romania. Now, these are very small markets. Uh, they only account for, you know, uh, they, they might get up to a few thousand sales a year each. But uh, great, great. Gary Black tweeted, Now, how about that FSD version 9 beta expansion and subscription launch at Elon? Well, that's what we're waiting for. Subscription rolls out in about a month. And uh, it must be Groundhog Day, because I've been hearing that since I want to say November. Well, it doesn't really affect me personally, but uh, take it with not so much a grain of salt or a pinch, but uh, more like a heaping quarter cup of salt. Sunrise Brief Tesla shifts battery chemistry for its Megapack energy storage system. Yeah, they're going to be sourcing batteries, it, is, it appears, that are cobalt free. Just going with lithium iron phosphate, these batteries have a long lifespan, do not use cobalt, and uh, they're not as energy dense, but for a Megapack, that's not as big of a concern. You have a chunk of land, just use it. It's not like they take 10 or 100 times as much space, they take about a third more. It's not a big deal. So this is fantastic. This will also free up cobalt for applications in other vehicles and products which can't yet use the less energy dense cell chemistry. Or good news, Panasonic forecasts profit jump helped by Tesla batteries. Yeah, uh, Panasonic's kicking butt. And uh, this is good news because for a long time, the Giga Nevada partnership looked to be a money sink for Panasonic in the sort of thing that they would wish to exit. But this just looks like they're gonna do good. Did you know I want to buy a tree on your behalf? Subscribe and I will do it. Every new subscriber in May is one mo tree. Am I going to buy? I just thought that would be a cool promotion to do in the month of May. I've got a tiny advertising budget, but why not put it to good use? I mean, right? The new Tesla Roadster will be on display in Los Angeles at the Peterson Automotive Museum from May 19th to June 2nd. <laughs> 45 bucks to look at a car. Not gonna lie, I would absolutely pay that. Yahoo Finance is reporting Tesla seeks entry into U.S. renewable fuel credit market, according to sources. And we don't have good uh, information on what this would mean, um, but uh, great. They're going to try and 
get some of the credits available for a variety of things, such as perhaps a production of, uh, I don't know. I think this is going to be applied to things like um, the Mega Mega Pack installation, Gambit Energy, which I did a whole piece on a while back, uh, where they're supplementing the grid in a position that is akin to a peaker plant. But we shall see. Tesla's Gigapress supplier is building a cryptic 9,000 ton press in China. So the current world record is the 6,000 ton press used for the rear castings for the Model Y. The 8,000 ton press has been announced to cast the front and rear segments for the Cybertruck, but this one is larger. What could it be for? Well, there is plenty of reason to believe it could be for a company other than Tesla. But if it is for Tesla, well, it could also be um, a whole body casting for the Model 2. We just don't know yet, but it's a definitely a something to keep your eyes on. Tesla email suggests refresh Model S deliveries may begin soon. Well, that would be great. There have been rumors that it could be pushed all the way to Q3 or even 4. But, uh, you know, rumors are as rumors do. And this is another rumor. It could be very soon. It's still ain't late January, which is what a lot of buyers were expecting and are frustrated not to see. Can we get it? Can we get it? Generally good news, with more electric vehicles comes more proof of safety. Yes, it turns out that safe vehicles are not exclusive to Tesla. They seem to be part and parcel of an EV platform, which makes sense with all the weight in the floorboards, the vehicles are less likely to tip. You've got that strong cage right at the bottom that uh, prevents side intrusion in some cases. There's a lot of inherent safety benefit. Also, not sitting on 20 gallons of splody gas. That's a nice plus to have, as we've seen from some of the fires caused by gasoline hoarders this week. Electric cars will be cheaper to produce than fossil fuel vehicles by 2027. Well, it depends how you're measuring it. By some accounts, they already are when you account for the savings in maintenance and ongoing fuel costs. Uh, and in many cases, savings on your annual registration or purchase incentives. But this means just generally the actual purchase price in six years could be below that of internal combustion. And if that happens, we're going to see the overnight death of internal combustion engines. Thank you to everyone who leaves a comment, and especially those who support the channel on Patreon, who enjoy a bonus content, a early access, and an ad-free experience. I can't do it without you guys. Cars Coops is reporting study claims electric vehicles are more efficient, less risky than hydrogen and e-fuels. Well, um, that would make sense. Uh, yeah, I would uh, rather drive an electric car than a gas car or a diesel car. I uh, just kind of in general, just kind of in general. California plan 80% EVs by 2035. 50 mile plug-in hybrids and tighter tailpipe emissions. Now this 50 mile plug-in hybrid compromise is in my opinion perfectly reasonable since the vast majority of travel is under 50 miles at a shot and uh, yeah you can keep those for longer range applications where folks need to keep a vehicle in motion non-stop and uh, yeah it's great. This uh, this seems a lot more realistic than the plan that had been put forward in Washington to transition all vehicles by, I want to say, 2030, which, for those of you uh, keeping up on that story, that was defeated. That did not make it into the budget. It made it in as a suggestion, not a rule. A target, not an actual codified requirement. So that seems a lot more reasonable to me. Tesla to pay $750,000 fine and build solar microgrid system to settle California air quality violations. Ugh, Verge, why are you doing this? They weren't violations, they were reporting violations. Um, they were required to report certain things and they didn't report them in a timely manner. 
And rather than, um, you know, drag it out, Tesla's going to pay, you know, um, 750000 directly to the Air District's General Operating Fund, slushy slush, and two hundred fifty dollars um, to install a uh, community microgrid system. So, I don't know. Fine. It's fine. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me a small child-sized pail of sand in the comments and stay tuned, uh, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots after you get back from the beach, I guess.